on Monday, January 21, 1924, at 6.50 p.m., Vladimir Lenin, leader of the October Revolution and the first leader and a founder of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, died in Gorky, in Russia, at the age of 53, after falling into a coma. The official cause of death was recorded as an incurable disease of the blood vessels, later found to be a stroke caused by severe atherosclerosis. Shortly after, a commission of the Central Committee of the Communist Party was put in charge of organizing the funeral. On Wednesday, January 23, the coffin containing Lenin's body was transported by train from Gorky to Moscow and displayed at the Hall of Columns in the House of the Unions, and it stayed there for three days. On Sunday, January 27, Lenin's body was delivered to Red Square. The crowds listened to a series of speeches delivered by Mikhail Kalinin, Grigory Zinovov, and Joseph Stalin, but nothing from Leon Trotsky, who had been recovering in the Caucasus. Trotsky had claimed that he'd been given the wrong date for the funeral. Stalin's secretary, Boris Bozanov later corroborated this claim, he stated. Stalin was true to himself, he sent a telegram to Trotsky, who was in the Caucasus undergoing medical treatment, giving a false date for Lenin's funeral. Trotsky would later deliver a tribute to Lenin in a short book, simply titled, Lenin, published in 1925. Alexei Rykov was also absent from the funeral, he had gone to Italy with his wife and had come down with the flu. After the funeral, the body was placed into the vault of a temporary, wooden mausoleum, which was later replaced with the present-day Lenin's mausoleum currently in Red Square, by the Kremlin Wall. Despite the winter temperatures, tens of thousands attended. Against the protests of Nades de Krupskaya, Lenin's widow, his body was embalmed to preserve it for public display in the Red Square Mausoleum. The commander of the Moscow garrison issued an order to place the Guard of Honor at the Mausoleum, which was referred to as their number one sentry. During the embalming process, Lenin's brain had been removed, and in 1925, an institute was established to examine it, which revealed Lenin had suffered from severe sclerosis of the arteries in his brain. According to Stalin's secretary, Boris Bazanov, Stalin was happy about Lenin's death while publicly putting on the mask of grief. Similarly, old Bolshevik Grigory Sokolnikov reported Stalin making disparaging remarks about Lenin's passing, with Stalin reportedly saying that he couldn't die like a real leader. After the events of the 1993 Russian constitutional crisis, the Guard of Honor was disbanded. In 2018, Russian MP Vladimir Petrov suggested Lenin's body be buried in 2024, on the 100th anniversary of his death, because it was costing the state too much money to house the body in the mausoleum, and proposed it be replaced with a wax or rubber model.